Hello folks and welcome back to another Top 10 Actual Facts, where I give misinformation a swift kick in the reproductive organs. This time we'll be looking at the Top 10 Actual and True Facts about the snake, aka the nope rope and the danger noodle. Now I got inundated with requests, okay one person but he's pretty cool. This is for you Robert. So now let's get a firm grip on your snake. Um. Number 10, Snake Family. All snakes are carnivorous reptiles that reside in Serpentes, not Slytherin. Some members of this suborder include boas, pythons, cobras, vipers, and politicians. In total, there are 19 families that are made up from over 3,000 species. What defines them is that they are all legless, amniotes, which means they lay their eggs on land rather than water, or retain the fertilized egg in the mother. Yes, yeah, some snakes give live birth. Think of pooping out wriggling noodles one by one and you kind of get the idea. They are also ectothermic, which means they are not good for cuddling since they don't generate their own heat. Number 9. Smallest Snake The smallest of these slithery cuddle worms is the Barbados Thread Snake. The scientist who named this hit the nail on the head since the largest one ever found was just over 4 inches long. Well, and they're from Barbados. I don't think any of them has weighed in at over a gram. Another unique feature about these guys is that they only lay one relatively large. Targ. A unique feature about these guys is they only lay one relatively large egg at a time. Given their size, I can see why. Kind of like a spaghetti noodle giving birth to a grain of rice. Though tiny, their venom is enough to kill ten men, and they like to target sleeping children. Just kidding, they're not venomous. And only eat things like termites and ant larvae. Had you going there though, didn't I? Number 8. Largest Snake Aside from the mythical OMT trouser snake, the longest extant species is the reticulated python which can grow over 20 feet in length, with reports of longer ones over 25 feet sprinkled throughout. If you haven't guessed, the snake gets its name from the cool reticulated pattern on its back. Now if you like girth, then you should check out the green anaconda. While a bit shorter than the reticulated python, the green anaconda definitely has more mass, with typical weights being between 66 and 154 pounds. There have been wild claims in both length and weight for the green anaconda, but the only verifiable one was a large female who grew 17.1 feet in length and weighed a self-conscious 215 pounds. Number 7. Vipers The viper family has over 30 species spread into three families. One of them is a single family member, the Fias Viper, selfishly named after the Italian guy that found it, Leonardo Fi. Or is it Fia? I don't know. All vipers have long hinged fangs that work like a hypodermic needle, injecting their venom into their prey. Another common feature is that they always look pissed off. Most of them also have keeled scales, which are those ridges you see running up along the top that resembles the keel of a ship. The majority of species have heat sensing pits, hence the name pit vipers. Since a lot of snakes can't see very well, some snakes have evolved thermal sensors which is pretty badass. This along with the next fact gives them an interesting way to find food. They then strike their prey with a hemoto- oh god. They then strike their prey with a hemotoxic venom. Can you see those fat cheeks? Those are Ford's venom sacs and is a dead giveaway for a viper. Number 6 that forked tongue. Those that think the tongue of a snake is creepy have obviously never been tickled by one. Quite nice actually. Long associated with evil, the forked tongue actually serves a unique purpose. The repeated flicking of the tongue is to collect scent particles and pass them to what is called the Jacobson's organ, which is a type of olfactory organ also known as the vomeronasal organ. That's right, they are just smelling whenever they do that. Now the bifurcation in the tongue serves an added function. If more scent particles are collected on one side, then that information is passed to the snake's brain telling them which way their prey is. So they kind of smell in stereo. I personally don't think it's all that special since I always seem to find a Cinnabon in a mall and I don't have any of that fancy split tongue shit. Number 5. Gaboon Viper I'm circling back around to the Viper because I can't afford a better writer. The Gaboon Viper is noteworthy for a couple reasons. As you may have noticed, this is a chonky boy. It is in fact the largest viper, having been found weighing up to 25 pounds. You may be thinking that this is the job of snakes, but since snakes are pretty much all muscle, that means this is more like the steroided bodybuilder. 
With that much muscle, it should be no surprise that it strikes really freaking fast. And if that wasn't enough, old Big Chongus here has fangs that grow up to two inches long. Found in tropical forests of Africa, you can see that they do their shopping at Cabela's, because they have some really damn good camouflage going on. Number four, San Francisco Garter Snake. I wanted to give a shout out to these little guys because as you can see, they are quite pretty, much like my hamstrings. Given the name, you can guess where they come from. Sadly, however, they are endangered. They have a pretty defined wet and marshy habitat that they want to live in and are preyed upon by one of the things that they prey upon, which are American bullfrogs. This species of the garter snake has been the subject of a DNA analysis which suggests that its striking color pattern is most likely due to where it lives rather than its ancestry. Whatever the case, it looks pretty damn cool. Number three, sea snakes. Because Serpentis is filled with so much uniqueness, here's yet another example. Sea snakes are a family that has evolved to be fully aquatic, and the ones that move on land do not do a very good job about it. A good reason for that is that they've evolved a paddle for a tail. While the largest species can grow up to almost 10 feet, most average between 3.9 and 4.9 feet. Given that trying to constrict fish that are super slippery would be pretty impractical, it should be no surprise that sea snakes, which include crates, are venomous. As well as fish, they also prey upon young octopus. Luckily, bites from sea snakes are rare because their venom is really freaking strong. Unlike eels, which are fish, they cannot breathe underwater and have to surface to breathe. This makes them vulnerable to predators like the African fish eagle, which specializes in hunting them. Number two, constriction. Most people believe that when a constrictor like pythons and boas kill, it is by asphyxiation. While I do like the word because it has ass and fix in it, the truth is actually a bit darker than that. At the lower level of the constriction process, breathing would be difficult, but the coils put on so much pressure that it literally shuts off the blood flow to vital organs, and causing cardiac arrest. It is also suggested that the pressure is so intense that by forcing so much blood to the victim's brain, that it interferes with neural processing. The snakes can also sense the heartbeat of their victims, so they know if they need to apply even more pressure, or when they are dead, and then they can relax. I'd read a story of a man who survived an instance like this, and he said it was by far the most painful thing he had ever experienced. Number one. Now we get to talk about the trouser snake. Number one, legless lizards. My girlfriend just suggested a cool fact I should talk about. Though they can look like snakes at first glance, legless lizards have differences you can spot. Unlike snakes, legless lizards have two more, less equal length lungs. And while snakes have a large body and short tails, legless lizards possess attributes like regular lizards with shorter bodies and longer tails. See? Easy. Probably the easiest thing to recognize is that just like lizards, the legless ones have eyelids, whereas snakes do not. If you've ever had a staring contest with a snake, you would eventually find this out. And might be an idiot. They also have external ear openings as where, you guessed it, snakes do not as they feel vibrations through their jaw. Also, the legless lizard does not have the broad belly scales like the snake. There are many more facts about these amazing animals, but maybe there will be a sequel in the future. In the meantime, I'm gonna spend a little time with my girlfriend, who's a bit of a snake charm. What I meant to say is that if you have an idea that I should cover, please let me know in the comments below. Also subscribe and like to this video as this helps bring it to more people and helps me put out more of these. Also set up a Discord server with the help of my friend Maya where we can further discuss the topics in these videos and share our love of animals. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you all for tuning in and take care.